action. Wild Good Robot, night. baby. DreamWorks' latest, um, latest dive into their, you know, creative say, outlets. Help me out here, step in anytime. They <laughs> continue, minus Ruby Gilman, they've definitely been on a, on a decent streak. I, I would yeah. say overall, even with that, they've made, the, the last few years have been better than Disney. Pixar collectively. Yeah, Ruby Gilman was the that was outlier. their that was that was weird. Should have been a, like a Netflix TV special. I yeah, don't know why. We, we've yeah we've dived into that as much as we can. I think yeah. But this Wild Robot, good movie. It was good. It was a solid movie. It was good. Yeah, it was weird. It kind of loses itself, mm -hmm. like you know, forty minutes in or so. I would say it starts but, very like Pixar serious for real. You're gonna. I'm gonna cry. We're gonna rip your fucking heart out. And then yeah. it just kind of turns into like Wally, like a weird <laughs> DreamWorks movie from ten years ago, where we gotta like shoehorn in like a bad guy. And yeah, we gotta conflict. Like, yeah, we didn't need any of that. No. I thought they were gonna go the Pixar route, where you don't even need a villain. Like, yeah. the story itself is the villain. Right. Like, you're sad life because is the villain. life is the villain. Yeah, and time is like, the villain. Yeah. Let's add a weird robot villain. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so there's like a shipment of robots, of helper robots that crashes in this forest. One of only one of them survives, mm -hmm. I think. The rest are like basically unrepairable. And they, gi and they give you this weird, like futuristic take on like into the world ish. The way it's like the way in the beginning with the robot and the like. The robot feels like they try to make it like it's out of place. He's not, you know what I mean? Because yeah. he's in the woods, and they give you this almost like AI dystopia with this AI thing that's now in the wild trying to help animal. That's, I, huh, I didn't get that. You didn't get that? No. It, it felt very like, you didn't need any of the any of the world stuff. Like the movie to me would have been a thousand times better if the robot was, and how I thought from the trailer, was the last of a thing that made it into the okay, woods. Okay, I do see what you're saying because that's what I thought. And then like 30 minutes in, we get all the stuff which we will talk about. They go to the real world. Mm -hmm. They like go off this mm -hmm. island and it then becomes Wally. Like, yeah. oh, these are helper robots that will help. And it's like, right. a, it's Wally, like a prequel. It's like a Wally -E yeah. robot kind of thing it's, if it was set on Earth instead of in space. Mm -hmm. Like, it, and I didn't know that was I didn't either. any of the movie. You're right. I thought this was the last robot. It's in this forest. He's trying to do cool things, and but he doesn't have anybody an else animal to, yeah. Because it's like, this is what I know. And it's like that opening scene where it's like running to all the animals, like, do you need help? And yeah. it's like a snake trying to like burrow yeah. and it's like <laughs> digging for I mean, him. Like, it's like, set up it's really funny. well. Yeah. Like, and he's like, I can't understand any of you. So I'm going to learn it mode. out. And, and then, then it just, just stays there, there yeah. for like years. You know, we don't know how long it is, but yeah. Um, yeah, this movie jumps around a lot. It's it like kind of stays on the same path for a little bit and then introduces a baby duckling mm -hmm. like that the robot then has to take care of because the duck like imprinted on it and thinks it's its mom, you know? But then they pull too quick on that thread too. Yeah, they do. That's what I mean. Like yeah, I really thought do. this was going to be a like last robot. He has to help save an animal. The animals don't trust him because it's from previous humans. Which we kind of, we kind they, of got that. They, there's a movie, but they only go bit. like half stepping. Yeah. Like they kept pulling the rug out and I'm like, this is going to be a real heart, you know, they keep, you know. No, now, it now is. It's over it, the hedge. It, it definitely like, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? It definitely like rips your heart out like forty minutes in when like Bright Bill is like going off. But that like, should have been the end. That's what I that mean. That should have been the end of the they, movie. They like took a movie, yeah. shrank it down, and then added another movie, shrank down, and then smashed it together. Kind of stitched it together. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to cut you off. That's just like the more I thought about it, because I really liked the beginning. I was like, this is this is really it good. looks and then fantastic. That. The DreamWorks animation. is in front right now of Pixar Disney. I will argue with anyone that you want. The, the chances they take, the storybook style that they do, yeah, it's. I love it. I do like the flashbacks or or like telling a story, and then we get to cut to a different form of animation. Yeah, it's, I, I it's love awesome. when that should happen. Yeah, it's, um, cast we have Lupita Nyong'o from okay. uh, Quiet Place Day One. Okay, is uh, Roz is the robot. Um, Pedro Pascal. Is Fink, which was probably the worst part of the movie. Okay. Not gonna lie, hmm. I did not like Pedro Pascal as uh, the fox because oh, yeah. he's doing Jason Bateman okay. from Zootopia. That I will agree. What the fuck? That I don't think it's. How are you gonna I knew you bite? Were gonna say that. that I don't hard. think he is. I think it's the script. Oh God, yeah. I don't think they yeah. were like, hey, no, hey, Jason. No, no, no. I think it's written like, hey, write it like the fox from Zootopia. 
Make him a make him a swarmy douche. It's literally the fox from Zootopia. It's, it's, hey, I can goad you into helping me, but it's just going to be for my benefit and not yours. That's a direct scene from Zootopia, where Judy Hopps thinks she's helping not, with the popsicles, and then wrong. it's like, nah, I just got a secret popsicle ring. You're not wrong, man. Like, and then Fink is just like, nah, you just I just yeah. wanted you to feed me. <laughs> Get gotcha. fucked. I don't know shit about ducks. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of Disney pulling here. Like, it feels very Big Hero Six. In the beginning, there was robot, straight up like, a ripped off Big Hero Six you? line. Yeah, like on a scale of one to ten. Yeah, how would you rate your care? Yeah, I'm confused because this is like a 98 percent on Rotten Tomatoes, both it's, score it's and really good and audience though. But but it's it's, it's not, not as good as everyone's good. trying. to That's tell what I'm you. saying. Like, go see it for sure. Yeah, it's a no good doubt. movie. Your kids your kids will like it. You know, the bunch of moms I'm sure will be crying. I get that. But I feel like we yeah, were if so... You want, a, if you want your kids to, like, do stuff for you for the next month, take them to go see this movie. And they will unabashedly show you affection because they don't want to lose you. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what I mean. Like, I feel like we were sold a bag, a fake bag of goods, though, because that first 30 minutes is, like, heart-wrenching good stuff. And then they go all silly. And then they leave the forest. Yeah. And then they come back to the forest for, like, some winter plot where it's like, we got to get all the animals to... That's what I'm work saying. Together. And that's when it goes like, all over the heads, and the bear's like, I ain't gonna eat you when I'm here. And you're like, what is happening? Like, you guys, were, everything was like a nice, serious, yeah. sweet tone, and then they went, like, goofy mm-hmm. at the end. Mm-hmm. Like, the robot with uh, the tentacles is like, it's, it's, it sounded like a Bob, it's, I think, I'm pretty sure it was a Bob's Burgers character voice. Oh, okay. Uh, it sounds like, um... It sounds like Kitty from Arrested Development, um, the, like, secretary. You know what I mean? That's, that's a, in my head. That's, that's the voice funny. it was. Um, but you see what I'm saying, though. Like, it, th- there's about yeah, like a, a third of the way through. I'm like, is there? An, are we gonna do an antagonist in this movie? I think we were. I remember from trailers there was some okay. action so the, or something. The trailer I saw, it was just like the journey. Was it okay? Maybe in bo- my head just bird. like filled in that I'm like, well, there has it's a movie, so there has to be an antagonist, right? And like I just pictured some mm. weird robot thing, but okay. I'm like I I'm pretty sure. And then they show like when they go off to like the human farm or whatever, mm-hmm. there's like the bigger robots and I'm like, "Oh, they're going to come back in the end, you know, and do something." See, but this movie, I'm telling you, if it would have just been robot Shows up on the island. You don't even have to say it's the end of the world. But Robot shows up on the island, doesn't know what the hell to do. The whole first 30 is the same, yeah. right? But draw it out a little. And at the end of the movie is Bright Bill coming back. And the robot waited. Oh, mom, you're like my mom. You stayed. Everyone cries. You don't need any of the extra. Nothing. You could have still done the winter plot. You could have had him come back early for the winter, had them save the animals if you want, and then wrap the thing. There was no need for any kind of bad guy in this movie. It made it, like, too much. And then the end is, like, to me, it gets weird because they take her away and, like, the memory gone. Yeah, the, gone. like, the robots, the actual robots show up because they're like, Roz, you have super valuable information. Like, you can speak to animals. Yeah, like, you've done things AI aren't supposed to do. You, you changed like, your code. Yeah, you, like, changed. Yeah. You're, you're evolving, and right. you're not supposed to be able to evolve. Right. So they're like, we're going to take your memories because you have priceless information that we can use and apply to the rest of our robots. But that scene where the bad guys explain it is basically just straight to the camera. Oh, by the way, I'm only programmed to sound nice. I'm a monster. Right. And you're like, oh, you're the bad guy. Yeah, like, very obviously. Yeah, like, what? So that, yeah, they, like... And we're getting into spoiler territory here, so if you want to, you yeah, want to bounce, then bounce. Um, we liked it, but yeah, no, it's a good. We're kind of shitting on this movie. <laughs> I just it took a turn. Yeah, like it I did. still liked it, but it, it got really weird. It's just weird when like the main the spoilers when the main robot like plucks Roz's memories, and then like Bright Bill flies in and like nestles under the cheek or whatever where we've seen, and then like activates again, and then ten minutes later calls them again and goes with the other robots because he, she goes. That's what I'm supposed to do. She's like, yeah. the enemies will just keep coming to this planet <laughs> if I'm still here. So I have to sacrifice. Oh my God. I have to stay in other world. How many so things that no monsters? From? That is literally what it is. She's Goku. Oh my She's God. She's like, I killed Cell. No, it's okay. I'm going to stay dead because, stay, because if the, I come back. Because they'll... the bad guys are only coming because they want what I have. They want my power or they want to challenge me. Like, so I'm going to stay over here. That way you guys are safe. So if we do get a sequel, it'll be because something is threatening the animals again and Roz has to come back. Majin Buu saga. Oh, my God. I thought about that in the theater. I'm like, she's Goku. (laughs) 
This is based on a book series. Yeah. So I'm curious now. I almost want to go children's check. book series, right? right? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah, probably yeah. twenty page books. No. You know, well, you know, they, they take George Orwell's <laughs> Wild Robot or whatever. The fuck. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Aldous Huxley's Wild Robot. <laughs> <laughs> robot of the Blood Moon. Yeah. Uh, Martin Scorsese. Nice. Yeah, I... It was good. I it recommend was good. It. I want to go see it in 3D again. Okay. I saw it in IMAX, but it's not in IMAX 3D. Mm. Why do they do that? I don't fucking know, man. I want the whole package, dog. I don't have to spend any extra money. Give me the whole package. Just give me the whole thing, yeah. Now I gotta go sit in a garbage lesser theater to see it in 3D without IMAX sound? Bullshit, dog. Where would you put this, though, for DreamWorks movies in the last few years? Do you think it's... I would probably say... There's some strong ass dreams. That's what I'm In the past few years or in total? Just the past few years. We I would we won't say do top a... 10 if we're going past few years. Past decade, maybe. Top 10, you know? Okay. Because like the How to Train Your Dragon movies are like perfect. Kung Fu Panda 3 was great. You know, four was Yeah, if like you just take the last week. three, it's probably last three or four years. It's probably Puss in Boots two still. That's we got we got to do our dreamers. We do need to do now. That. Yeah, maybe just top ten. Okay. Maybe we get JJ in here to do a top ten DreamWorks. Yeah, I like that. Puss in Boots is still the best. Th- that's one of, if not the best animated. This, this movie did of not all time. come close. This to me, if it would have stayed where it was going in the first thirty, yeah. it would have reached those heights. But the movie, like it, it kind of ends in the first like 30, 40 minutes when. She sends Bright Bill away. That's what I mean. And it's like super sad. It's, and she's like, can you give me a boost? Yeah, and it's I'm like, getting out of the theater. Fuck, like, that was yeah. awesome. Powerful. Oh, we still have an hour? Oh. oh uh-oh. That's not good. Oh. That's what I mean. Like, <laughs> yeah. it went from as good as Puss in Boots 2 to like worse than Kung Fu Panda 4. And I like that one. It was the weakest. But I'm saying like, it got, it just went goofy. I, like, we don't need the silly. I know yeah. it's a kid's movie, but like, Pixar doesn't. You know, Inside Out 2 didn't go off the rails silly. Yeah, there's silly moments. Inside Out 2 is w- way more powerful That's, than this. When, she, yes. when when Riley's having that, fu- I still get goose. When she's having that panic attack, it's like, it's gut-wrenching. It's because anxiety. it's so real. And that's why Puss in Boots 2 is great. When, when it's so He has anxiety real. and he's dealing with death. It's like, yeah, goosebumps. Yeah, it makes you feel. <laughs> he makes you feel. Yeah. And they, they promoted this movie as like, that's this level. This yeah. is an Inside Out 2 Puss in Boots right. 2 movie. Like, it's we're going to rip though. your heart out. It's like, no, it, it is very heartwarming yes. instead of, like, gut-wrenching. They don't like, go all... That's what I mean. That first 30, if they would have kept that for another 45 minutes, slowed that down perfect. a little, and had that, it would have been an amazing movie. I, I did not think we were going to cut to Bright Bill in the Ducks and have Elder Duck sacrifice himself to Robot Man. Like, I'm like... That's what I'm saying. Where did, where did this movie go? Like, we you're right. Take- we should have just stayed in the forest yeah. the whole time. I didn't need to leave no. this setting that you built for us to another place that... I don't know even exists. They still. crank the stakes to a thousand out of nowhere. Yeah, and you're like, "Why well, was th- you already had me all sad and like the, the mom son leaving school?" I'm a parent. Like that's sure. all I need. Yeah. I, now you're making it. Yeah, like we need to take a break. Oh God, there's people. Oh, and like you're right. And then there's like a, the, the oh. let's land. Yeah. Oh, the robots are trying to kill it. Listen to Bright Bill. I'll sacrifice myself. You guys, like, why? What is happening? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I know it sounds like we're being super nitpicky, but I just was, I was just shocked at how I, I feel much like we the were, movie turns. We were promised that That's first what I'm 40 saying. minutes. It gets a 90 degree, like, shift to the left, and you're like, what just happened? Yeah. And it is still emotional when she's, like, it trying is. to save all the animals, like, and she, like, shuts down. Yeah, but then they, but then they, I know. And then they immediately pull back on that. I was going to say, if that was the end again, and then she dies and she sacrificed herself to save the animals. She she shuts down. That's pretty much the end of the movie. As she's shutting down, she has a speech. Please listen before. Before I yeah go do me a, do me a last or whatever thing and before work I... together yeah so you're thinking oh she's done yeah and then you have it Bright Bill comes back and, and finds she, her fucking body and she like pops out of the like, ground how, and but she's how like, good would that be you yeah know? She, he like comes sad, back to the house. and then yeah but nope she pops out after winter and she's like oh it's Bright Bill and back. then there's still twenty, 20 minutes of the movie yeah. man dude that's what I'm saying yeah I you... enjoyed it but they took away the one I wanted yeah thirty minutes in they said switch the the movie we're putting a different one. Change it out. Intermission. We're going to change the tape and the projector. Yeah. I'm, um, I still think I'm like a seven out of ten. It's a seven. Because it's a fun the music's kids great. Movie. I love the characters, minus Fink. Uh, and the animation is fucking fantastic. If you go like, in just like, it's a fun DreamWorks movie. And it starts with otters. It starts with cute fucking baby it's otters. It's true. Just being adorable. Well, the whole opening scene is hysterical. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that could have been, like, maybe that was a short. 
they okay. had, you know? And then like they maybe the fleshed it out. Maybe the book, and, I'm, and I haven't read this, I'm sure I'll get yelled at and corrected, but maybe the book is just the robot taking care and sending him away. Sending him away. And Hollywood's like, well, that ain't, can't make that a two hour movie. No. We gotta add. We gotta How many books are there? It. I don't know. Because if there's two, I could see that being a book and then the winter plot being a whole book okay. too. But then the weird robot shit is all now. embellishment. You know, there being this actual city where people live, like that we don't know even exists still. Like it should, could just be on that recording, the one. Yeah, edge that's she what has. I'm saying. That's what it made you feel. It made you feel like this is it. This yeah. is the robot. When she finds the other robots that are all like messed up, that's and the only I mean. the one that's alive. You're like, yeah, oh, this is the end of the world. Right. That's the way you really feel. And it's like, no, everything's fine. You just happen to be in the woods, slightly off from the city, and you're like, yeah, you're just a little bit over here. <laughs> Like if, if they would have given us trailers that were like it's a goofy fun yeah. robot movie, sure. then I probably would have given it a higher score. But right. the trailer's like the most heart wrenching DreamWorks movie of all time. Like, it's like you can't promote it like that if it's like, and then in very very tiny text. Under, I don't know if you saw it, but in the trailer, in very tiny text under that, it says for only forty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> then it goes almost Ruby for the Gilman. First Thirty minutes. In the last, yeah. The ending is very Ruby Gilman, where there's like big conflict monster fight. Yeah, for what? For no reason. No reason. And it's like... Yeah, ducks dive bombing into badass what? future ships. Why can the ducks fight five robots at a time with the help of other animals when the elder duck had to sacrifice himself for... Yeah. That doesn't make a lot of That's sense. That's what I'm saying. Come they, on now. They went full... Yeah. I think I'm a seven out of ten. I'll give it a seven because, again, yeah. good it's movie. a fun movie very and it good. looks beautiful. Take your kids. Take your kids. You'll yeah. enjoy it. It's, yeah. Coming off of... And I'll say it till I die. Transformers One, being like that was better. Very good animated. That was a better movie. Movie with like actual stakes, actual conflict, trailer great characters. The trailer ruined that. Yeah, movie. I've been reading a bunch of stuff online. The trailer is what poisoned that movie. Yeah. So yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. got mad at us. Yeah. No, that trailer was bad. That trailer was terrible. Yeah. But coming off of that to this, that was definitely the more fun movie. This was like you're gonna cry. We're gonna make you cry. I felt like they they had two drafts for migration. Yeah. <laughs> Illumination caught wind of the sister studio, and all they heard through the walls was ducks. <laughs> ducks are hot right. Ducks. ducks are hot right now. Ducks so hot right now. Ducks. <laughs> it's like no, there's a little bit more than just the ducks that made this movie good. You yeah. Know? Like yeah. Illumination's like we're all all in on ducks. <laughs> My, Wild Robot Two Migration Two. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. So that's our yeah. that's our thoughts. Go see it for sure. Yeah. yeah. Take your kids. I feel like we crapped on this movie. We weren't supposed to. <laughs> I didn't really mean to crap on it. I just, I was disappointed in the in the change. Yeah. I think if they stuck, stuck with, with yeah. no pivot, then it's it might be an all-time movie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. What are you going to do, right? Man who's been alive on this planet for far too long. Or at least alive and working on this planet for far too long. Well, like, yes and no. I think it's more of a, it's a concept that he's been trying to do for like 50 years. That makes sense. And at sense. some point, yeah, maybe don't do it. It was like his commentary on like how he sees the world now kind of thing where it's yeah, like, it's everyone's like in their own world. It's really You weird. know, like it's this weird like future it's like present day, Dystopian. but also futuristic. But there's like holograms and shit. But it's like an shit. alternate timeline yeah. of what America would be 